Bruce Diamond is now serving a seven-year sentence after police say he terrorized Sarita, posting fake profiles of her on escort websites, and worse, posting a sex tape of the two of them. To this day, she says she has no idea how he recorded them. She never saw a tiny camera in the room or a phone propped up in the corner to capture them. I, I have no idea he had ever taken this. And he forwarded this to over 3,000 people. And this was a video of, of the two me, of you? Of me and him having sex, yes. And that video spread faster than she could have imagined. Multiple porn sites. But what was worse was the family and the friends who authorities say were sent links to it by the man Sarita met on that plane. Could you believe this was happening to you? No. I didn't believe. I kind of like put in my head that it was just a nightmare, that it was not true. But it was. But it was. And there was that one last surprise for Sarita. Apparently he was married. Have you met the wife? No. Nor had we until just this week when 2020 sat down with Bruce Steinman's wife of 22 years, Mrs. Kathleen Steinman. He had been weaving quite a web of lies and deceit with me for many, many months. That was the betrayal and was the thing that hurt the most. She and her husband have a 13-year-old son. She's a school librarian, now a single mom, raising that son all alone back in their idyllic small New Hampshire town. Authorities have been watching her husband across two states, and she is talking about the case now because she says no one has paid any attention to the terror he inflicted on his own family. I think throughout this whole thing, it really has never been apparent that Bruce had a family. There was never any indication that he was a married man with a, with a child, and we're victims too. Kathleen Steinman says during those months, she had no idea what her husband Bruce was doing on those business trips to Washington, D.C., his time spent in Arlington, Virginia. Nor did she know what was about to unfold on that fateful night that authorities were waiting for him. Bruce didn't come home. He said he was going on an appointment in Massachusetts and that he might stop at his mother's house. He left that night in his car and would drive more than eight hours all the way from their New Hampshire town to survive his apartment outside Washington. And as the case unfolded, his longtime wife was horrified. The things he did to her took hours and hours of plotting and planning and very devious, very ugly. And when you involve somebody's child, I mean, it's the lowest thing you can do. It's just despicable. After learning of her husband's arrest and betrayal, Kathleen demanded a divorce. And that's when she says he began using some of the same tricks to terrorize her, too. He shut off the utilities going into our house. He took over anything he could online. My Facebook account, eBay, PayPal, anything he could get a hold of. I thought I was safe because he was in prison. I didn't think he would be capable of really doing anything during that time. And she would soon be left with yet another unwanted surprise. $50,000 in bills for all of those trips and all of those gifts left at Sarita's front door. The flowers, the chocolates, the lingerie. When she realized that, even her friends were asking this. When was the last time you spent $50,000 on you? I, I just can't imagine. I don't know what would be going through his mind to spend that kind of money on someone he had just met. She was a virtual stranger. A stranger who fell for him on that flight. I think he appeared to have money, pretended to have money, and she went for it, and she found crazy. She found crazy, and it's still haunting her tonight. Are you still afraid? I think that uh, I'm afraid that he's going to pay someone to kill me. Tonight, that sex tape can still be found online. Authorities say once a video like that is posted in multiple places, it can be nearly impossible to take down. You can ruin a person's reputation, and it's very difficult to get that information back. He was using that technology to, to destroy a person's life. He was destroying your life? He did. And Sarita's daughter Pam knows that that awful tape of her mother is still out there. The video was my mom, so everyone was convinced that it was my mom. What has he done to your life? He, he destroyed part of me. I, you know, I will never see men the same. A daughter now watching her mother trying to rebuild their lives. When you see her fighting this, what do you think? You just can't give up. Like, my mom didn't give up. And I'm so proud of her, and I love her so much.
And when her mother, who had been listening to the interview, heard that, that nightmare finally over. I love you, Mom. All of it after that very first flight, when it seemed love was in the air. Will you ever look at people on the plane the same way again? I will never give them my number again, that's for sure. I learned my lesson. It all began with that number. Yes.